Hi, I'm Jordan Stockelman, and I'm the founder of the I Love You More Than You Know Project. And I'm Brittany Sheldon, and I'm the co-founder. The I Love You More Than You Know Project is a 501c3 nonprofit organization consumed of advocates who are compassionately dedicated to fighting against addiction, ensuring those affected by addiction know their fight is worth it and someone out there loves them more than they know. So my mom had been battling an alcohol addiction for a few years while I was going through high school. Um, it was a pretty hard and difficult time to put everything together. I went to an all-girls private school and um, just thought that no one else went through what I was going through. Um, I was really confused on why God was doing this to my family. My mom was one of a kind. Uh, she was my best friend. She was more like a sister to me. Anytime she walked into a room, she lit up, she lit it up with her smile. Her laugh was very contagious. and. She was just the most beautiful woman I've ever met, and I'm so blessed that she is my mother. So I was in high school when my mom, um, when we realized that my mom was battling an alcohol addiction. At first it was kind of hush-hush. Um, for many years it was a secret after that. So it was hard for people to understand uh, what we were really going through as a family. I think that people, um, they have their opinions on things. and. The one thing that really bothered me was that my mom always felt like an outcast um, when this was going on, and I, I wish that people would have showed her more love um, and care and understanding, and I think that if people would have told her how much they loved her or how much they would have been there for her, I think she would still be here. What drove me to do this was um, I don't want anyone else to lose their best friend the way that I lost mine. It could have been prevented um, to an extent. I truly believe that if people reached out a little more and wanted to help a little more and if there wasn't such a stigma behind mental health and substance abuse, I truly believe that my mom would still be here. So I started this organization to help other people um, to know that they're not alone, to know that their addiction doesn't define who they are and someone out there loves them more than they know. Did you know that in 2013, according to the American Addiction Center, only 10.9% of the individuals who needed treatment in a specialized facility for substance abuse or dependency concern actually received it? Why is that? According to Addiction Campus's resources, the three big reasons include denial, shame, and cost of treatment. So how can we raise this percentage? We can talk about and end the stigma with mental health and substance abuse. We can promote positive recovery so that our loved ones get the right treatment, all while knowing we are supporting them. We don't know what someone is battling behind closed doors, but what this organization will do is show them that someone out there loves them more than they know and let them know that their fight is absolutely worth it and addiction does not define who you are. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for listening to my story and considering joining my project in memory of my mom and all those battling an addiction. Remember to check out our website and like us on Facebook. And remember that someone loves you more than you know.